guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me using BoxyCharm products. I just got my BoxyCharm Whimsy box, so we're going to be using that. I also have a few things from the past BoxyCharm Lux or Supreme or I don't remember what it's called, but the fancier BoxyCharm box that I wanted to use in this video as well. So I already opened up this BoxyCharm, the Whimsy box, and I'm really excited about all the products in it. And I thought this would be the perfect one to do kind of like a face with. So let's first start with the oil that came in this box. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil, which I actually love this brand, Elemis. They sent me some products like a year ago and I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is an anti-aging little oil and it has rose oleo extract and rose hip seed oil and sea kelp, which I think a lot of Elemis uses kelp and things like that. This looks really pretty, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hands there. Oh, it smells super rosy. It smells really good. Don't you feel like so like, I don't know, almost luxurious when you use face oils? It just always feels like you're just, you know, treating your skin. I like how this one is absorbing, like almost immediately. Now, next up, this actually came in last month's Lux box. It's the Dragon Beauty Skin Perfecting Potion, which I've really wanted to try because I have dark scars around my mouth, especially today. And as you guys know, of course, this is from Dragon Beauty, Nikita's makeup line, which I've never tried anything from, so I'm really excited. I don't know if this will necessarily work on my skin tone, but you know, you just don't know until you give it a go. Wow, that's like, it's like my shirt. <laughs> so I'll just use the smallest amount of this just on the sides of my mouth that's the only place where I really need color correcting and then I don't feel like wetting my sponge today I'm just like so lazy so I'm just gonna take a brush this is my Sigma P86 brush oh my god <laughs> I hope I didn't just make the biggest mistake ever I have to go to Target after this but if this could help with the darkness around my mouth I'd be so excited I look like I just ate a bag of Cheetos <laughs> I hate it. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply my uh, L'Oreal Infallible Wear Foundation. I'm gonna skip through this because it's boring. Okay, so foundation is done. I'm torn if I notice any difference with the Dragon Beauty Concealer. But again, I don't think it's really designed for me per se. I know it does wonders on Nikita and I've seen other people use it amazingly. So maybe I need to get more familiar with how to use it exactly. And then I just finished up with my Benefit Boing Concealer and I set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Um, so this was also in the BoxyCharm box. This is the Seraphine botanicals lip exfoliator I have never heard of this brand in my life and this looks like a big amount of lip exfoliator <laughs> it's really big I feel like a lot of times when we buy lip exfoliators they're just always in the little pots so what is oh okay it's a squeezy tube I like that oh it's like peachy I don't smell anything hmm it tastes very sweet I think it's like a sugar exfoliator oh there's radish chamomile and chai seed oil in, in this oh yep it has the sugar avocado apricot jojoba oil shea and cocoa butter wow Wow, that's a lot of treatment for your lips. That sounds like a good little exfoliator and it felt nice. All right, I feel exfoliated. It's vegan, gluten-free, and GMO-free. Very cool, and not tested on animals. I'll have to check out the rest of their products. That sounds really awesome. Okay, there is no bronzer in my box, I just realized, so really quickly, I wanna throw on my Maybelline City Bronzer, because, you know, what's a shea without bronzer? I am nobody without my bronzer. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I am so excited about, because I've never used something from this brand in my whole life, this is the Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics Robin Hood palette. I mean, have you ever seen anything just so precious and wonderful in your whole life? This is fantastic. And it opens up and it's a palette. I mean, it's just so cute. And I love the green in here. And there's mustard and there's an espresso. Like you guys know this is up my alley. So let's go into, let's go into the mustard. I'm gonna take it with my Sigma E35 brush. And there's a mirror in the palette. I mean, this is just wonderful. I've been wanting to try something from Storybook Cosmetics for so long. I'm just really stoked about this. Oh, that's beautiful. Very pigmented. Oh, wow. Right away, that is lovely. Look at that. My goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. We'll do the same on this eye. Love that. Okay, now I really want to go into the shade Merry Men. This beautiful matte green. I'm taking that with my E25 blending brush. Oh, it's like a very grassy green. I was hoping for a little more forest, but that's okay because we can deepen it up with that espresso shade in here. Can I ask you guys a really morbid question while I have you here? Who do you think killed John Benet Ramsey? I will tell you, it's just one of those cases that to this day, and I mean, I've looked into this for years, but to this day, I spend a decent amount of time just going over everything, everything, listening to every podcast, watching every video I can find on it. I've gone as far as to reading actual re 
reports that I found on the internet from the case. And it's just, I don't know, it's one of those cases that will bother me, I think, until I die. I would really love to hear who you guys think did it. Which, and it's horrible. I hate that this happened to that poor little girl. But I have such a fascination with it. I don't think it was the brother. And I know that's everybody's common thought. I don't think it was the brother. And yes, I've seen the Dr. Phil episode with him. And yes, he was a little off. But I just imagine he hasn't had much social interaction his whole life specifically because of this situation. So I could see why he'd be a little off. I think it was the mother. I just do. I don't feel good about that woman. And I, you know, I'm not accusing her of anything, of course. But I don't know. I don't know. There's something about that lady. And do you think we'll ever know? That will drive me nuts forever. If, like, we just never know. If the father or brother perhaps did know what really happened, I wish, like, even on, like, maybe the father's deathbed, I wish he would just come out with it. I really do. It's gonna bother me until my dying day. I swear to you. And I think I'll forever keep looking into it. It just drives me crazy. Okay, so that's a little brighter green than I wanted. It's a lovely green, but I wanted something deeper. So we're gonna go into the shade Forest and just marry that into the green so we can deepen that up, smoke it out. That's exactly more of what I wanted. So perfect. Wow, I'm really impressed with these eyeshadows. They seem to be blending beautifully. They're highly, highly pigmented. No dryness, no scratchiness, you know? They're going on wonderfully. I love the way this espresso is marrying into that green. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, it's exactly what I wanted. It's a little dingy, it's a little grungy, it's perfect. And then you guys, I have to get in to this beautiful green. I want this all over the lid. The official Robin Hood shadow. She is a beauty. So I'm gonna, oh no, is my brush clean? I'm going to spray it with my Smashbox primer water. Ooh, I mean, how beautiful is that green? This is so gorgeous. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I am so excited by this palette. You guys know how much I love my forest greens. I love mustards. And this is just like my heart in a palette, I swear. Maybe I'll place an order. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I'll look through the comments before I order and see what you guys are recommending because you guys always recommend to me like the best stuff I swear like don't ever think like I just think I'm giving you guys all the recommendations like I listen to your recommendations a lot I love when you guys suggest things to me so definitely let me know what is a necessity from this line oh my god how beautiful and I think on the lower lash line I will just let's start with uh, the mustard the matte mustard shade and I'll smudge that in really on the inner half more than anything. So beautiful. I am so excited that I got this palette in my boxy jar. This is awesome. And then I think on the outer half, I'll take the shade Forest again and smudge that on the outer corner of the lower lash line and just marry those two together. How awesome is this makeup? I cannot. Okay, I'm just gonna throw on some eyeliner and some mascara and we will move on to the rest of the face. I can't get over how just stunning these eyes are. I mean, am I uneven? I feel like I've been off center this whole video. I'm sorry, you guys. I love these eyes. They are just dreamy to me. It's just everything that I love. Oh my goodness gracious. Storybook Cosmetics. I am excited about you. Okay, so few things for the face. This came in the last BoxyCharm Luxe box. It's the Natasha Denona. Like what the heck? The Natasha Denona Bloom uh, Blush and Glow Palette. I cannot believe we got a Natasha Denona product. I mean, hello. That's some big coin. Oh, she's pretty, isn't she? I haven't looked inside yet. Oh, Oh, well, first of all, I love the detail of covering the cream products with this little plastic flap. Keep them safe. So that's really nice. Glow Cream Base. Glow Extreme. I think I just want to go into this one. I don't want to do anything too aggressive because the eyes are so green. Oh, is that just really kind of like highlighter? I thought it'd be more blushy. Let's see. It has a little blushy tone. Actually, it'll be fine. I'm going to pop that on my cheek. I didn't realize it would all be cream because I wanted to layer on another product from this month's box. Charm. Oh, that's lovely. I can't believe we got a Natasha Denona product. Unbelievable. How many of you guys subscribe to the BoxyCharm Lux? I'd love to know. It seems really worth it just based off of this is the first one I've gotten. And I mean, Natasha Denona, my goodness. And then let me just take a look. This is uh, the blush that came in this month. It's by, who is this by? Ciate London? It's the Marbled Light Illuminating Blusher. I love calling blush blusher. I like only ever want to call it blusher. What color is this? Dust? Oh! 
Ooh, she's pretty. Really don't want to put it on top of the cream, but I do want to kind of get a feel for it. So we'll just do a light application. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of blush, isn't it? It's pretty, very pretty, but way too much. I'm just going to take my little F87 edged Kabuki brush from Sigma. It has a little powder on it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to kind of soften that out. Of course, we're going to lose the glow, but that's okay. We'll apply some highlighter. With these bolder green shadows, I try not to do too much on the cheek because it just doesn't need it. You know, the eyes are so mesmerizing. It's fine to just leave them, you know? Okay. So let's go back into the Natasha Denona palette because I want to try this glow extreme color here. This is an old discontinued brush from Sigma and it breaks my heart because I loved it. It's the F06 powder sweep brush. I wish they'd bring it back. Give us a little glow. Oh, that's a pretty color. Kind of a nice nude, like a rosy nude. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Let's spritz the face. Photo finish spray. Oh, I hate how bad my face looks today. Wonderful. And then also from this month's BoxyCharm box, we have the Feather Matte Liquid Lipstick by the brand IBY Beauty. It's in the shade Nude, thank God. I was worried it was gonna be like a red or something and I didn't wanna do anything too bold with this beautiful green eye. I really want the focus to stay there, so. Oh, yay, this is perfect. A little dark, but but it'll do. And I don't think I've tried an IBY Beauty Liquid Lipstick. Ooh, that's pretty. Like I said, it's a little deeper than I would've chosen for this look in particular, but I think it's fine. And that is it for this look, you guys, using the stuff in my BoxyCharm this month and a few things from last month. I love it! Obviously, I mean, hello. The winner for me is this Storybook Cosmetics. I'm so excited to use this and I'm so excited to check out what else they have. The lip exfoliator was great. This serum I really liked. Just all in all, I feel like BoxyCharm is really stepping up their game. I feel like there's been a lot of great brands in them recently and I wanna get back into doing my BoxyCharm videos. I haven't in a while, but I'd like to get back into those. So let me know if you guys would like to see more um, from my BoxyCharm subscription. I do have a BoxyCharm discount code if you guys were interested in signing up. I'll link it down below for you. Anyways, you guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for another shameless video and let me know your requests for what else you'd like to see because we do have some time left and I wanna make sure I get all your guys' requests done. So leave them in the comments down below. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.